It truly is that time for another video here today. It's your boy Tune Taylor. It has been a minute. It has been a minute, but I am here. Can't tell by the title because I'm about to discuss my um my picks for Island Two. I'm not gonna lie to you. So while I've been away doing throwing activities uh, and moving and stuff, uh, I had a chance to finally sit down and watch Island Two. I wanted to do it for like the YouTube, but I could never get around to filming it so i just watched the whole 11 episodes no 10 episodes because the last episode comes out the uh, when you're seeing this tomorrow um so I'm, I'm about to put down my thoughts about the show because i promised myself i would never watch another survival show after what the hell happened with x1 and the fact that we were promised five years and we got five months not even five months that's that was that was the moment that I said I'm never watching another survival idol show ever again. But for some reason I was drawn to watch Island 2. So I watched it. And we're just we're gonna I have my phone here. I have wrote I've written down a bunch of stuff that I nitpicked but also really enjoyed about the show. So we're gonna start off right now with the fact that it's an Mnet show. And I'm I'm the person who hates shows being called rigged. But boy, boy, oh boy, this show feels some type of rigged. It is insane. How, how bad, not really rigged, but how much camera focus they put on specific people to not let them, uh, and take the camera off other people to not let them. That was the thing that really, really upset me throughout this whole show because i've i've been been making list of who i want who i want my top 12 to be and when my top 12 didn't make it i was confused i was very confused because some people they were they were very loved or they were ranked very high when the show started and then just faded away just never made it out out of the um never made it out of the ground which didn't make sense to me um but like the, the moment that I was like, again, I was not trying to call it rigged, was when Yui didn't make it. Because that that was, at that point, I was sitting there confused. Because not not only was Yui ranked 7, 4, 10, got moved out, and was ranked 13. She, she never made it back and got eliminated from the, the 12. For majority of the part one, she was an Islander and then got voted out and then just didn't make the top 12. It was it was confusing to me. Also, I did a count out of the people who were originally before the entrance exam, before all the stuff started, who were originally in the top 12. I think there were. I think it was it was nine people who were in the original top 12 are still in the top 12. The only ex ex uh, exceptions were Kim Goody, she was ranked 16. Uh, Soo Jung, she was ranked 13, which is basically right there. And somebody else, I can't remember who. Might have been, uh, might have been Yuju. I don't remember but somebody else was not in the original top 12 but everybody else who's who made it to the second half of island 2 at least nine of them were already in the original top 12. come on now we we've been it's been an interesting topic i'm just i'm just pointing out what i'm saying it's it was weird to me that yui didn't make it but other people Kind of didn't have as much screen time did make it or who were doing worse did make it confusing confusing the other thing i want to talk about now i'm gonna say this right now i don't know if this is a, a thing that's said often um but i have a phrase for idol shows and it's called the golden goose the golden goose is somebody who comes into the show they're really really good they're really, really light. And for some, uh, 
abrupt reason, Golden Goose fall and it will just miraculously change to somebody else. Prime example of this is um, Samuel and 101. Samuel and 101 are uh, produced 101 season two was the golden goose he ranked one or like half the show and mysteriously dropped ever got put up because they replaced him with park jihoon park jihoon became the new golden goose and i like park jihoon so i'm not even mad at that so the the current the current golden goose who was the golden goose in part one was uh jungin she ranked number one she was the seen as the best vocalist she never ever became a grounder then we enter part two and the new golden goose became bang jimmy now this is not this is not a aha moment this is just i was it's weird that mnet has a tendency to do that a lot in their shows and I'm, I'm just pointing out from what i've seen in mnet shows i'm not i'm not talking about island because i didn't watch that one so i'm not that's based off the experience with one one with x1 with ioi uh i can't say iz1 because i didn't watch that one i didn't know it happened um that's that's but with island 2 it's been very noticeable that uh jungyan was very loved when the show first happened she was ranking one five like she lost a grand total of like two battles in the first round and then all of a sudden we enter part two and she's ranking eight and ten she's ranking eight and ten and eleven and then she gets saved by um by i make votes i was i was it was really weird that this girl was being I, it was it's really weird because of the producers for the fact that they keep mentioning that she's not doing anything to raise the bar. What do you what do you mean raise the bar? She's been the most she and in my opinion, the two people who have been the most consistent in terms of they are ready to debut as idols have been her and Fuko. Nobody else has been as consistent with singing, dancing, stage presence as the two of them, in my personal opinion. Again, this is, I'm not hating on anybody. I really like Bang Jimin. I think she's going to make the group, but it's just weird that the shift happened and Jimin really didn't show anything for that shift to happen. I guess she's she's um she's actually getting kind of kind of crapped on by the producers in the first half and then now she was ranking she was ranking one and all this nonsense or that um they were telling her that she needs to um she needs to be more aggressive and stuff but but again coming back to the producers they've they've played the favorite card a bunch but they've also shifted their favorite card a lot like i mentioned Choi, uh jungin was a favorite for a good portion then sebi became a favorite and now sebi's not a favorite um jimin has been a favorite um i would say sarang's also been a favorite they've talked a whole lot about sarang or they're showing a whole lot about sarang i shouldn't say the producers are sure the show is purposely putting clips of who the producers are talking about a lot. And the names that I've seen brought up a lot are Jimin, Jihoon, Sebi, Sarang. There's a fifth one. Um, and Coco. Those are the five that I've seen brought up a lot as Jungin and Fuko have seemed to have taken a backseat. I mean, it's, they've been shifting the group, like, non-stop. But the, the the three that I've seen a lot have been Sebi, Jihoon, uh, Jihoon, and Jimin. Those three have been talked about constantly, uh, showing clips of them saying, oh, yeah, they're 
perfect and all this stuff so it's just again this is mnet being mnet but it's just it's just weird that this is that that's what they're going to do to try and force i wouldn't say force their way but force certain people to be in the group um just just from just from watching it it just that they seem to be the ones who seem the most, um the most put up on the screen multiple times throughout episodes um before we get to my picks i want to talk about one one major issue i had and uh throughout this entire show i've loved it the the missions have been cool being seeing people i wouldn't expect do well and gaining favorite uh, gaining my favorite members has also been an interesting task in this little watching thing like again you wouldn't expect to get attached like that but like you you see certain people do well and you better but one mission that i had the most difficult understanding with is the the position battle the the vocal uh unit dance unit creative unit that battle to me didn't make sense at all specifically for the fact that they they were the way the rankings happened was weird to me so first thing first you don't remember if this is a spoiler spoiler i'm sorry i'm just gonna come out and say it the eyes nose lip team was not better than the i'm fine team as again as a team this is a main position battle if this were if this were a part two battle which is what they do later on with um if i were a boy beyonce that battle was almost directly similar to I'm Fine versus Ice Stones because they ranked Yoon as the best person on that team and they won by one point. Which, again, as a team, the I'm Fine team chemistry, uh, harmonies, even vocal technique, technically, they were, they were, they were better. But June as a whole was the best person on her team by herself. Did she deserve a 98? No, I'm not. I'm, she she deserved a high 90. I would say 98. 98 is too. I just, I didn't get the whole making that team win by one point. Especially since the fact that Hugo and Jungin didn't move down to grounder. That's what I was expecting this battle to be like the sea, like the seesaw battle. The winning team would replace the grounder team, or the the winning team. If the if it was the Islanders, they would stay in Island. If they were the grounders, they would move up. Because that would have made more sense than what whatever the whatever this battle was. Because then I look at the um, I look at the creative um the creative battle they had the islander team win over the grounder team but half of that grounder team moved up to be islanders and half of that creative team ended up in the elimination team it did it it literally didn't make sense it was it was if if i'm if i'm calling rigged that's the most rigged battle right there because it didn't make sense the only the only one that actually i didn't i wouldn't say i didn't care about because i really liked it um i was fairly rated was the dance the the mic drop sugar coat was better than the uh um the my bag team that's that was the only that was the only good one ranked everything else i was i was sitting there confused about how how this rankings was happening because it, it was both the one they both teams lost by one point which was weird to me um Again, I could I could spit about that for 90 minutes. So we're gonna get to my picks. As it's time to get there. It's a six member group. It's a six member group. So I have my picks, 
who I think is going to make it. My pick is who I want to make it. Then I have who I think the show is trying to force to make it. And then my hope. So my picks. All right, you know, we got Choi Jungin. You would think I'm a Choi Jungin stand the way I've been talking about her in this video. I'm absolutely not, dog, because my second pick is Ruiz Sarang. That's, that's who I want in this group. That is who deserves to be in here. That's one and that's two. Number three is Fuko. Number four is Bang Jimin. Number five is Coco. And this is kind of a this is kind of a dark horse sleeper pick. I wouldn't say it's a sleeper pick. After the way she's been showing in the show, I wouldn't say it's a sleeper pick. Give me goody. I just think that's that's a perfect team right there. You got Jimin could be leader center. Uko, lead vocalist, Jungin, main vocalist, Coco, rapper, main dancer, Goody, the youngest, and Sarang, visual. That's that's a perfectly put together team right there. Who I think is going to make it, I think, by the way of the show, you take out Sarang and you take out Goody and you replace them with Sebi and Jiyun. And that's who the show wants. Because again, I for locked, guaranteed locked, I think Jimin, Foco, and Fuko are guaranteed locked. There's and there's no way in my mind that Mnet would allow them not to be in the group. There's Besides the fact that they're, they have the most amount of fans, they have been given the most amount of screen time. There's just so much that points to the three of them being absolute. And then the other three kind of just are kind of in the same boat, but also in the sense that um, these could be the I make picks. That's that's what I'm thinking. And then there's a hope factor that. I'm I'm not convinced this is a six member group, by the way. I'm I'm ten toes down. This is a seven member group, and there's going to be somebody that they think didn't um didn't deserve to be eliminated. That's the producer's fourth choice. So I'm thinking three from I mate, three from the producers. And so that the three from the I mates would be Jimin, again, guaranteed. Uko and again jimin Coco, and jungin and then they would pick sarang Fuko. and again this is just i just this is just the way the show has been playing out it wouldn't not make sense to also put mai and yuju in that group as well that's just that also seems like a perfect seven Again, we will see tomorrow as it is July 3rd. No, July 4th is when the last of so We will see tomorrow what happens. And hopefully we get a seven member group because the six member group thing is killing me. Everybody's making a six member group. Please change it up. Six and five, ban them for the next three and a half years. Make, make bigger groups. But we will see. So. You may or may not get a reaction to that tomorrow. So let's see. Anyways, it's been your boy tuned here with my island new video. If you did enjoy today's video, please like. If you're new, please subscribe down below. Link to my social media is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the video. Peace.